back to Strength Coach Tutorials. Today we've got episode 7 and we're going to actually be making a percentage based program. So this is an example of a program template that you might see and I've already set it up on day 1 here with some exercises um, based on our categories and then I've got drop downs to select the exercises and I've set up some tempos, some rests, some sets, some reps um, and percentages and we want to automatically calculate some weights off percentages. I've gone ahead up here and created an athlete drop down menu and then that using the VLOOKUP that we did in the last episode, we can pull the maxes and we need to create some helper cells. So the easiest way to do that is to just type an equal sign and then the, the cell that you want it to equal and then drag that down and then an equal sign and the cell that you want it to equal, which is the maxes and drag that down. The reason we're creating helper cells here is because whenever we're referencing merge cells like this, the, the uh, references get all messed up. So it's better to just create a helper cell off to the side that we won't print out anyways. So the first thing we need to do here is select, be able to select the max that we want to um, use. And we're gonna do that with a data validation. So we select the formula, the cell, go data, data validation. And then the, the list that we want, we're just gonna select the helper cells there for the list names. And we should be able to select the bench press, um, and if we drag that down, we'll delete those. And then we'll be able to select the squat over here for the squat. So then the next thing is knowing the max that we want to use, we got to reference that value. So we can use the VLOOKUP function again. So we go equals VLOOKUP. We want to reference the bench press, which in this case is F9, bracket or a comma, and then the helper cell box. And we're going to lock those in so that when we drag it down, it doesn't move. So dollar signs in front of the letters and the number. And then we want the second column and false for an exact match. So we lock that in, drag it down. We should have all of our values there. So you can see when we select the bench press, we get the 400. Squat, we get the 401. And if we select a different athlete, athlete one, for example, it's going to give us different values. Okay, so good. Then what I've done is I've added a percentage bar here and I've changed these percentages. If you just go to the home tab, you can select percentage from the number formats up here. And then we've typed in some percentages at 75 there. And now all it's, it's, it's as simple as determining or timesing the percentage by the max. So we use the formula, go equals if error. And if error is gonna check to see if there's an error and if there is, it'll give us a blank value. So the value we want is gonna be the max times a percentage, so we're going to use the formula M round, M R O U N D, and then we're going to use um, N9, which is the one that holds the percentage value, N9 times um, G9. And we want to lock in just the G portion so that when we drag it, it works. And then comma, and we want to round to a multiple of five. So we'll type the number five, bracket, and then the value, if it's an error, it says there, is gonna be nothing, so we type double quotation, close that off, and it's gonna times that out for us. So we get 75% and you, or 75 pounds. You can see if we change the athlete, that'll automatically change. If we drag it down, all of the ones that don't have a percentage should show a nothing value, and we'll just fix the boxes here. There we go. Now it looks good. So we should be able to copy that over because we locked everything in place should automatically work there for us. And if we change the percentages, say 60%, it'll automatically change the values for us. So there you go. The last thing you wanna to do to make this a complete program is you just select the helper cell boxes in orange here, right click and hide them. And then you should be able to pr print your program. Thank you for watching, please subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions and leave me comments in the, in the box below.